Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great. Today, I believe today is um, day number three of Nagasaki and um, we want to do something more relaxing today because I think we're gonna wake up early tomorrow and go somewhere, um, go, go somewhere, somewhere, somewhere far. So um, we're just gonna walk around this area and actually I looked on Google Maps and there's actually like a lot of cool things around here and um, we, a couple of days ago, we went to a place nearby and um, they had a lot of cool things so we're gonna go over there too so from here you can see like a small little Chinese shrine so we're gonna go over there as well and then you can see a lot of these like old buildings and old houses around in the back and we're gonna check those out as well too you see on this side too there's some old houses as well over there I don't know if you can see it It says, welcome to Nagasaki Foreign Settlement. See, they have like uh, the former British consulate. Um, they have some bugs here. Historical Museum of China, Confucius Shrine. And then they have a bunch of uh, houses here. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. So there's like homes up here. And um, basically, Basically, they for for some time they had a lot of um, Dutch settlers here, and and they only could allow Dutch the Dutch for some reason, and so there's a lot of Dutch style homes built all around this area here. So we're gonna go check it out. There's one right here, and then they also had other things as well, like the um, the British consulate, and maybe um, they had some some sort of like Shanghai Ch Chinese museum as well. Alright, so you can actually go into one of these houses maybe. I don't know if we're gonna go do that. I just want to get a closer look at this house. Whoa. How come those people didn't go in? It's interesting. That's pretty cool. It's just like an old style house. And uh, I think they sell drinks in here. Here's the house. It's very old. The floors are creaking. But um, it's pretty cool. Just Western style house. It's actually free to go. Oh, there's a cafe in the back. Oh, that's why. That's how they make money, at least. It's pretty cool. There's a bathroom in the back. So the cafe is inside of this house, so they kind of used it as um as a cafe well the bathrooms are really modern here i guess these stairs are really steep it's very narrow that's why i think it's pretty big inside yeah wow it looks pretty cool inside well can you just imagine oh i got some sort of anime cut out here you can just kind of imagine what it was like um, back then. This is so cool. Just see how people live here. Get a nice view. I just can't, can't imagine what it was like back then. Got another room here. It's pretty cool. Here's the, um, building, not building, the, um, the island that's here in Nagasaki that's, um, deserted and i've seen i think taste test those guys from youtube they went there i was watching a video of that before i came here but we're not gonna go there i think it takes all day to get there so i'm not gonna do that this is um the nagasaki city historical museum of the private school this is some sort of private school that they had looks very um like southern american style like old Hey, there's more houses over here. Something you see like in um, in the south in America. And you know, it's probably the same home. Same influences. What did you want? Alright, so we decided not to walk through that house um, because we had to like fill out some forms um, just in case if anybody contracted the virus, we just left. There's some uh, houses here. These you can't go into. 
they're probably preserved maybe either better or worse. I think this could be possibly one of the houses. I think they're um, getting rid of the junk inside, looks like. Oh, it's, here it is. It's pretty empty on the streets today. It is Monday, but it is a holiday as well. Oh, do you have to pay? $660 per person, which is, I think is kind of expensive, but um, we'll see. All right, so we're in here. They also had, um, can I see? They also had like um, food for the, they have koi and carp in here, but um, they had a big, they had a big bag of food for 500 yen, 200 yen, and then 50 yen, or 200 yen, or 20 yen. So we just got the smallest one. Like they know, they know I'm gonna feed them. Okay, here we go. I dropped the food for you. Eat it. Yeah, <laughs> one by one. They can't see it, maybe. It is not delicious. They don't like it. Oh. They're all coming. They all want to eat all of that. <laughs> That's why you need to get the big bag. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth six dollars to come in here, but um, since we're all here anyways, we just might as well stop in and drop by. I don't know where my girlfriend went. She's hiding in the, sh the shade somewhere. But they have a lot of these, um, these are probably like really prominent um, scholars maybe? Buddhist scholars? This river is all dried up. That boat's stuck over there. It's crazy. So we just came to a gift shop and this place looks like it hasn't changed in 20 years. We just have a lot of Nagasaki special snacks here. But the place looks so old school, it looks so vintage. They even sell cigarettes here. Alright, so we were just here a couple of days ago when everything was closed at night, so everything seems to be like opened and uh, there seems to be a lot of tourists coming here from probably like Japanese tourists, local Japanese tourists and this is kind of like what it looks like and basically there were a bunch of traders that um, lived here near the ports and um, yeah they lived over here and my girlfriend just went in the store so I'm gonna check it out Nagasaki or Gilkan or Gokan or Gokan Whoa. old security cameras there it smells old it looks like it's some sort of like a old building that they kind of renovated inside and made into a store but I think they sell like those um, piano machines like this I don't know what these are called but man this one's $500 maybe $450 this one's like $100 I think that's what's playing in the background right now oh these are cool these are miniature ones they're like $60 this one's seven hundred fifty dollars. It's pretty cool. I got like these cute trams. They're like five dollars. We're trying to get a magnet. We're, I'm trying to collect the magnets on the on our fridge. I only have um, Okinawa. This, this guy seems serious about bread. Seems like a nice guy. Twenty bucks. This also goes up on a hill as well, and then they have like these um, old houses, probably dates back a long time ago, and then they've kind of converted the bottom floors into stores, more modern, for tourists. Oh, they have like this tax-free store as well. Well, let's go inside and just check it out. Okay. Alright. Looks like it's a... 
pretty big store. It's like in the middle of nowhere. They have like little um, machines in the back here as well. And then um, alcohol, sake. And then they also have like these um, these gift sets with like biscuits and cookies. They're everywhere. They look pretty good. These are my girlfriend said that these are always delicious because usually when you go on like vacation, you're supposed to. It's a custom to bring one of these things for your work. So like especially if you missed any um, days off, you have to bring some of these back to your um, co-workers. So she's tasted a lot of these and she said they're always delicious. There's some more. And they're usually expensive. This one's $10. This one's $5. $10. And some of these kind of correlate to this street. Like this one. Nagasaki Hall and Sable. That's the Peace Park um, statue. Alright, we found our magnet. They have the, my girlfriend was saying they have the island, the church, and the Peace Park statue, which we haven't been to any of these. <laughs> oh, but we'll be going to this church, I think, right now. So, I think we'll buy this. This one is only $6.60. It's like 6 bucks, And I like it how it's really big and like very 3D. <laughs> what is this? Look at this. Is this poop? I don't know. It looks like poop. <laughs> what the heck? So weird. Oh, they even have a big one. Look at this. It's like a big poop with the hats of buildings. Maybe that's the island? They have this famous um, pudding here. There's like a long line. I think we'll get it later on our way back. This place is pretty cool. Yeah, there's all stores here. It's a juice shop right there. Oh, look at these cakes. That looks pretty good. Oh, here's the church. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be um, one out of three. I think they're drawing them, or he's drawing them. Maybe they're characters. Oh, they are characters. Oh. Oh cool, he makes them into like anime characters. Yeah, like anime character. That's pretty cool. Should we get ours? Hmm? Should we get ours? You want? Uh, you won't be in the sunshine that long time? That's not, true. Not that sunshine. Oh, they're in the shade. Alright, this place seems really busy. There's a place to go here and then there's the church right here. Alright, so it's like 10 bucks to go inside, but it's just too expensive, I think. I think we're just gonna go and go up and then just look. Yeah, we'll go check. We'll go um, preview it before if we buy the tickets or not. But here's the church. So I just, just believe. I think this was a Catholic church, and there's a, there's many churches like these in Nagasaki. So this is a uh, Glover Garden. All right. So uh, we we're gonna we ended up not going all the way up because the guy stopped us. So we just decided not to go. I don't know what Glover Garden is, but there seems to be a lot of tourists here, local tourists. All right, so I, we looked at the um, on Google Maps what the church looks like inside. It just looks like a normal Western church with the pubes, uh, pews, and anything, everything. Now look at this view out here. Wow. They sometimes have cruise ships coming in here into the port. But I'm guessing because of Corona, they don't have um, they don't have this. All right, so I looked at the re reviews and they said that the Glover Garden is worth the visiting, and that the Nagasaki, uh, the Aura Church, on Google um, Google reviews said that it wasn't worth the 1,000 yen. But um, now that I think about it, I think um, looking at the reviews, uh, there used to. Be there used to be a lot of um, cruise ships that come in here. I think just one huge one. And the tourists would come out and then come up to these places. So I think that's why it's a little bit expensive. But I mean, it is Japan. And um, they said that church was the first Catholic church in Japan, which is very interesting. But the person also said it's not worth going in. So we're gonna go into this Glover Garden, I believe. It's 660. I'm mistaken, it's 620 for adults. But if you go 15 or more people, it's 520. So this is the map. So there's just a bunch of old houses and I guess a bunch of people lived here a long time ago which is pretty cool. People said um, on the reviews that it's worth 
this alone is worth visiting for the views. They had this long escalator here. It's pretty cool. The views from up here are really nice. Look at this. Wow. They're playing a lot of um, music in the back. There's the church. Wow, look at the mountains. Today's a really nice day. It's about 80 degrees. I'm not sure how many Celsius that is. It's a little bit um, cooler because of the uh, tropical rain last night. But it's still really hot, but it's not as humid as um, the past couple days, which is nice. These are really nice here. Wow. We just got it off and then we got onto another escalator. Yeah, they think I have food. Oh my gosh, look at how big these are. I wish I could have koi myself. These are huge. <laughs> I don't got anything for you. They're hungry. Should we feed them? It's got a huge pond over here. Look at this. Crazy. They have the fish food here. 100. That's not too bad. It's but it's little though. They just got a, a lot of history here. Looks like they had a lot of iron and steel and coal mining a long time ago. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little big glare. Some posters and stuff and historical things here. We took a break and now we're watching this um, film about Nagasaki and the history with a nice TV. So this house is talking about the island we're talking about where they had the, um, the people working on the island and it's all deserted now and that, that video was talking about that as well, the history of it. This is the upstairs. See the view outside. Whoa, look at that. Got a bunch of more boats in this room. We got a British boat and then an American boat. And here's the view from the other side. They got a balcony out here. It's pretty nice. There's people crowding them. The koi fish. All right, they got a little viewpoint here. Wow, it's like a 180 view. Yeah, I just love high viewpoints. And even if I didn't see any of this, I think this is the best. Uh, you can see the whole port here. That's amazing. Look at all the uh, industrial stuff. Ah, that was the picture right there. That's pretty cool. Maybe that's where they um, load the stuff and get it out to sea. I'm not sure which house this is, but it's pretty small. Oh, I think it's the foreigner who helped them make the ship. Oh. Wow. It's a pretty nice bed for back then. They were probably really rich. They have a little balcony. Oh man, that's nice. Can you imagine? A hundred years ago coming out here? I don't know if it's a hundred years ago. This is your view. It's pretty nice over here. I wonder if they had this back then as well. Can you imagine this town? Probably only like the rich lived here. This place has a really nice ambiance. I'm sure they didn't play like this old music back then though. Got a little snacks over here. You can have ice cream and beer. It's really nice. Get some clam chowder and minestrone. This is right here, one of the earliest asphalt paved paths in Japan. <laughs> That's crazy. One of the earliest. So this must be like the um, the very beginning where settlers came, maybe. Nagasaki. All those um, 
ships over there. There's some small ones, there's some big ones. So this is the uh, former Glover house. It's under um, renovation. I think they're fixing it, fixing and making it nicer. So we couldn't go in there, unfortunately. But this is also World Heritage. It's like one of one million World Heritages in Japan. But there it is. I think that's it. And there's still like people living here, like regular people. But I don't know how they get here. They probably have to um, have a car because it's kind of far from everything. All right, um, this is the uh, Nagasaki Traditional Performing Arts Museum. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna go inside. This is from the top. It smells really old in here. That. Yeah, let's sit down and relax. It's, they got a bunch of like floats here, for, like parades. Oh, these are crazy. And they have like a, a movie playing, which is pretty interesting. This place is pretty cool. I think this is the best part, I think. See some more floats. And there's some like seating where people can sit down. I think um, yeah, they probably use these in their performances. I, I, I wonder what it looks like when... Oh, they have it in the video actually. Oh, I'll show you guys in a bit. But these are the things that they would probably use to um, do the parades in. It's pretty cool. Some more. Bald Eagle. Bonsai trees. So probably pre-pandemic, they probably had a lot of crazy festivals like these that they're showing on the uh, on this um, screen right here with all these floats and performances. It's pretty cool. No, those people were just going to do. Oh yeah, yeah, right. That's one of the boats that's here. That's cool. Whoa, that's awesome. And then at the end, they have a gift shop. Not much in here. Tea, snacks. I love the inside of this building though. It's really old school. It's Dragon Ball. It's Conan. I found this little parking lot here. Uh, it seems like a lot of taxis, but I thought maybe you can see a really nice um, 180 view of the uh, port here. This car is on, but nobody's inside. Check this out. Wow. This is cool. I love the palm trees here, and there's people living here as well. There's this little crepe store outside. You got soy crepe. Oh, it's really nice. I found this little shop here. All sorts of weird stuff. Java walkies. Got some handcuffs. Some American shirts. American style shirts, I guess. Maybe not. So we're back at this uh, pudding place, Nagasaki pudding. And there was a long line before. It's a little you know, pudding with ice cream. I've never had that before, pudding and ice cream together. All right, we came to the 7-Eleven um, because we need to get some drinks and we're gonna go back to our hotel. So I think we're gonna get, I'm gonna try some drinks. I'm gonna get this one. That one looks all right. I don't know, it's a fruit, fruit drink. And I might get, yeah, I really like this uh, this melon drink. So I'm gonna get this melon one. This one was pretty good. Yeah, 
What's that? Oh, oh, big C? My girlfriend's getting you. Is it cafe latte? Yeah, ice latte. Oh, ice latte. All right, so I was gonna end the video outside, but um, I wanted we wanted to eat at home. So here's a little bag. Here's the yogurt, not yogurt, the pudding. It comes in this little glass little bottle. I don't know how we're gonna throw this away. It's really hard to like throw away glass and plastic in Japan. This video is gonna be a little bit long. Um, I didn't expect to see all of that, which was like a nice um, unexpected. Un expected surprise but if you like more things like that style like going to old houses um i'm gonna put a i'll try to find a link to the one where i went to kobe where they have something like that where they had like a bunch of old um, houses from the merchants and the ambassadors from when a long time ago when they lived around that port so i thought it was really cool i thought it was really interesting i really liked it um yeah i like going into those old houses i always like going into places where i what i feel like I can kind of imagine what it was like when it was during that time. So, I don't know. If you're interested, um, take a look in the description box. But, um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people are not interested in that kind of stuff. All right, it's very thick. It's very, um, probably homemade. Wow. It doesn't even taste like pudding. Like you think pudding is more kind of like a jelly texture. This is more like a creamy texture. Oh! It's pretty good. Wow. There's something on the bottom as well. I think it's like sugar. Got some of the bottom here, it kind of melted. I don't even know what that is actually, but it's really good. Wow, I'm gonna finish that real quick. All right, now I finished that pudding and um, I got this drink, fruits, fruits au lait. I, I don't know if that's French, but it looks pretty good. Wow, that tastes pretty good. Tastes like candy. Yeah, it's really um, pineapple-y. But um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it's a little bit long. Um, we're gonna take a rest here, take a break, um, get in from the uh, sun. It was really hot today. So I think we might go to the uh, Mountain View top today and um, yeah, go there in uh, maybe an hour or two. So look out for that future video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell notification. And if you're interested in more stuff like this, um, check the description box and I'll try to find the old Kobe building where, I, not Kobe building, but the Kobe video that I went to the port town, which was really interesting as well too. I really like coming to these places. It's kind of like, um, I don't think a lot of people like this kind of stuff, but um, I really enjoyed going to places like this. It's just new and different. Um, and especially in Japan, it's just very different. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you later. Goodbye.